welcome everybody. Um, nice to see all of the parents uh, who are joining us this morning for this event and all our visitors to Oakington Manor, welcome. Nice to see lots of new faces and we hope you're going to have a great morning. I am just going to lower the desks. The next part of the proceedings, you're going to need your glasses which are on the top of the tables. This is the sound of the human heart beating. On average, our hearts beat about 70 times a minute. That's about 100,000 beats a day. The human body is made up of a number of amazing organs. Each one performs a vital function. The beauty of it for us at Oakington is that we are hoping, once we, myself and my team get the training, we're going to be teaching the children to film, make their own films in 3D, which will be absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to raise the desks again so that we can log on. You should all be in the parents' room of our learning platform. As you scroll down using the scroll bar on your right-hand side, you will see that there are some other links to other rooms. Now, one of the rooms is the parents' room, which we'll go to in a minute. There's also Meet the Teachers. It shows pictures um, of teachers as drawn by the children. I really love this one. Um, Mr. Juma, who is our Spanish teacher, and he's also the shadow ICT coordinator, so one child sees him as Superman, which is fantastic. If I go back to the parents' room. Let's have a vote on whether our children should be wearing school uniform or not. My son's in year five, um, and where, when he gets his um, numeracy homework, it would be nice if um, they had an example shown, maybe on the top of the homework, how to do the actual Su some Sums, yeah. um, before they before they start doing it, so we can show it to them, and we can understand because there's different ways of doing numeracy. Yeah. So if we could do that, and then we can show it to them. I just want to open it to the floor. Any other issues? When you have children, the parents have English as a second language. It's very hard for them. So I feel that they should do something, if possible different languages, find out the most popular languages, you know, to help the parents at home, you know, that they could help their children more. I think it would be also be a quite a nice idea if the parents logged onto this website and heard what the homework was okay. going to be, rather than always having formal bits of worksheets, if they log on and they can, they can hear it, they don't have to, they don't, they don't have to read anything. It's certainly something I can facilitate um, because we do have the technology <laughs> and the know-how. Okay, well, I'm just going to raise your desks so that we can actually contribute to that forum. Click on new contribution. It will bring you up a text box. I know I, I don't really want this to be long, but if you could just write a few <laughs> sentences to say, you know, some of the things, the, the points that you've just raised, um, and it will actually be there as a discussion and teachers will be able to click on to be able to read what's been written. Some of the time when my daughter brings her homework into school, the teacher does not take her homework from the students because the teachers have not asked for it. So then the homework comes back home. I'm sorry to cut this short, but we are using the learning platform as a medium for, for which you can actually communicate with us those very ideas that you've shared with us this morning. Can you please give me a show of hands? How many of you have access to the internet at home, please? Okay. Nearly all of you. Okay, well, that's comforting to know. In January, we will be offering some basic skills and IT courses which you are more than welcome to apply to attend. I would want to thank all of you very much for actually taking the time to come and be part of this discussion. Parents came to uh, Oakington Manor School today to, to find out about online reporting. And I think what the school was able to do was actually provide them an insight that went beyond what maybe we might expect as, as adults and parents ourselves based upon 
our memories of reporting and, and education um, and our experiences of schools where you know, we may have just received a end of year report or, or termly report. Now parents have the opportunity to find out that sort of information online as it happens. So when they do receive a report on paper or when they come into school or have the opportunity to discuss with teachers face to face how their child is progressing and how they as parents can support them, there are no surprises. They can be informed by possibly logging on to a learning platform as parents saw today to find that information and find out what it is their children have been learning and perhaps more importantly what they're going to be learning over the next week, the next term of work. So it provides a far more effective communication channel with parents that's making use of the sorts of technology that are now becoming ubiquitous and, and everyday in our own personal lives. Mm -hmm.